Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. The name is Mara. Today I will be checking out Liar Liar um, featuring Jim Carrey and other people. I've been bullied into doing this reaction, okay? <laughs> the last comment be do liar liar do that. Okay, calm down. I'm doing liar liar. Somebody's doing something, so you will hear some sounds, some noises. Um, yeah, no, but Jim Carrey is a comedy type of guy. I think the only thing I've seen with him being serious is the Truman Show. Uh, serious? Mm -hmm. The Truman Show. And I know he's a funny guy. He does a lot of comedy. I've watched um, The Mask. It's on the channel. Not this channel. Not this channel. But it's on Mara Mara series. Um, it's a fun movie. And I'm expecting a lot of comedy in here. With that said, um, I'm gonna count to three and then I am going to place play. So one, two, three. These people are working. I don't know what the heck they're doing behind my window, but they're doing something. One, two, three. Today. We're going to share what our parents do for work. Yeah. I hate this. My dad is a truck driver. My dad is on welfare. My dad, he's a liar. That's his job, being a liar. <gasps> lawyer. <laughs> a lawyer. <laughs> a lawyer's a liar too. Mm -hmm. Mr. Reed, do you have a moment? I'm sorry, I'm very late. It's my day to be with my son. A couple of reporters want to talk to you about your big win today. How's my hair? What about your son? Oh, he can wait. This is about money. This is about being viewed, seen. It's becoming the club! <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you have any trouble finding the place? Okay, I'm late. I'm sorry. I ran out of gas. That... Mom, Dad's taking me to see wrestling! Fletcher? <sighs> Audrey? He looks like a fun dad. What, the stepdad? Hi, honey. Hi. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was a nice image. <laughs> it wasn't serious, was it? Semi-serious, yes. You guys aren't, you know... Yeah. <sighs> It's your duty to present the strongest case possible. The strongest case possible consistent with the truth. Lawyers. But Miranda, I won't lie. Then we'll just have to find someone who will. Jim Carrey. Hi, Mr. Reed. Whoa, hey. Did you do something to your hair? <laughs> it's a bit extreme. Yeah, that's bunt to nuts. That's an African... Uh, okay. Hey, Fletcher. Hey, Pete. You losing a little weight? I don't know. Maybe. Hey, hey Randy, man. Hey, Mr. Reed. Anything? No. I um, had so much for breakfast, I was <laughs> not ready to pop. I mean, I'm full. <laughs> well, it's my birthday tomorrow, and we're having a party and everything. Wow! I am sure that your daddy has got you something wonderful. He didn't. What a surprise. <laughs> you are Aw, she's great. You did. <laughs> Mr. McKinley phoned to confirm your meeting tomorrow. Strep throat. Mm. No, some kind of virus. What's going around? Asian flu. Good one. And your mother called. I'm on vacation. It's your fifth week. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, how much ass do I have to kiss to make partner in this thing? <laughs> Here, I bought you a gift. Oh my gosh. I heard about your victory. Congratulations. You know, you're making quite an impression on the partnership committee. Which committee? I've just been keeping myself so busy, I haven't even thought about it. <laughs> oh, tonight. We're not going, are we? No. 
I do disappoint my kids from times to times, but that is sad. If you promise to do something, then then do it. Therefore, I do not promise my kids anything. Will you marry me? Are you serious? Seven months? No, I'm moving to Boston, but I want you and Max to come with me. <laughs> what? Seven months? I don't know. I bought you a present, but last night... I accidentally swallowed it. What is it? It doesn't even know what it is. Baseball stuff! Aww. Baseball stuff! Cool! Can we play? Right after your party tonight, we'll do it. You and me. I just have to really concentrate on this right now. Just five, like kids, just give him like five, ten minutes. That's all. And then you can be like, I've got to work. We can take the race after. And then he will understand. Just five, ten minutes. One, two, three, four, five. And one for good luck. He struck the child. Did you see that? The you know what? I have my glove in the car. Maybe we can stop at the park on the way home and play catch. You could have done that for five, ten minutes. That all that is all you need. Something's come up and we need to talk. You gonna move? She decide yes. to move? Max's birthday party. Oh, yeah, sure, of course. You're serious. After you provided years of faithful service and loving support of raising his children, they are his. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, what? Uh, after all that, your husband wants to deny you a fair share of the marital assets based on one single act of indiscretion. Seven. Pardon me? What? Y'all gonna represent her? You're the victim here. The wife of a cold, distant workaholic. Starved for affection. Driven into the arms of another man. Seven. Yeah. What different men? <laughs> People got strength. I ain't got strength for all of that. Mm -mm. You're right, Mr. Reed. I am tired of getting kicked around. He does the claw. The what? Claw. <laughs> Actually, something has come up. I've. Uh, Are I've you serious? This is uh, really riding me. Fletcher, it's his birthday. Hello. How long she been not doing it, sis? Take it easy. Go break the man. Said he was it's not be working. Here, I promise. I know. No, don't promise your kid stuff. I wish that for only one day dad couldn't tell a lie. He's a lawyer. The man got lie. What's going on? Why are they showing the clock? Is it good for you? <laughs> I've had better. <laughs> I've had better. You've been thinking about it. <laughs> Everybody's been real nice. Well, that's because you have big jugs. I mean, your boobs are huge. Uh -oh. I mean, I want to squeeze them. <gasps> oh my Mama. Lord. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> Is that the wish being true now? Like coming true? They can't lie. Simply this. What is going on? He he wanna lie, but he can't lie. He, he can't say the words. Is that the problem? Write it down. Write it down. How are we doing this morning, Consul? Fine, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Reed. 
I'm a little upset about a bad sexual episode I had last oh night. Oh my gosh, in court? Mr. Reed, I see where your client... Your Honor, I would like a continuance! What? I'll have to hear good cause, Counsel. What's the problem? I can't lie! What? Is there any chance of a settlement in this case? I don't think so, Your Honor. My what? My already offered Mrs. Cole 2.4 million dollars. That's a lot dollars. of money. Reed has made it abundantly clear that he has no desire. Shut yeah, up. that's a lot of... You convinced me yesterday. I'm the victim here. <laughs> what, seven men? They are the victim. What is it? <laughs> There's no settlement. Oh, my God. I get the not being able to lie, but I don't get all that, the charade and all that. Oh my god, it's so weird. It was me! Hi, Mr. Reed! Like the new dress? Whatever it takes to focus off your head! Well, true, you shouldn't be having that at all. Oh, hey! Hey, Fletcher! Hey, you're not important enough to remember! Oh my god. Protest. Something small. That wheel became magi magical. He cannot lie for real, real. Real, real, real. The color of the pen that I hold in my hand is Which kind of sorcery is this? Blue. Oh, no! <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the pen is blue. The pen is yeah, blue. blue. <laughs> Why it's blue? Why is the problem? And your mother called. Are you still on vacation? No. <laughs> and your ex-wife called. She wants to know when you're coming to pick up your son. Oh, yes, yeah, school. He said we pick him up after school. I had a case I was certain would settle, and it didn't, and I have to go to court. <sighs> oh, my gosh. I really want to see Max today. Yeah, that was true. Now I'm telling the truth. And last night you weren't. No. Well, what were you doing? Having sex. <laughs> I hope that it was with someone very special. <laughs> no, see, that's a thing. I don't even like her, but she's a partner, and I thought I could help my career by making her squeal. Oh, my gosh. How many excuses will it make for one person? I guess my wish didn't come true. It did. You can't move to Boston. I'll never see Max. Well, then you'll have pretty much the same relationship you have with him now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this phone. Just stay there. I'm coming over. <laughs> we have to talk. Take the stairs. Take the stairs. <gasps> Holy hell! Yeah. <laughs> you will be back. He works there. What's your problem, schmuck? I'm an inconsiderate prick! <laughs> Why don't we just take it from the top? So I sped. I followed too closely. I ran a stop sign. I almost hit a ship. Oh my gosh. At a crosswalk. I changed lanes in the intersection. I changed lanes without signaling while running a red light and speeding. What? Is that all? No. I have unpaid parking tickets. What? <laughs> and lawyers have a very good salary. Be gentle. I'm a bad father. Yes. He just realized that he is a bad fat. Yeah, you are. And nobody told him. What time? <laughs> Six. He was making a birthday wish that for just one day, his father couldn't tell a lie. Will he get it? Oh my god, that's it. Yeah. Hi, I'm Max's bad father. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to Listen, do? Max. Got to do something for me. You wanted to undo it. Eh? Take back that wish. So you can lie? Yes. But not to you. I did it. But will it work? 
because I think when he did it last night, he was really upset and he really meant it. I don't think he means it. It didn't work. Yesterday when I wished it, I really Yeah. Huh? I have to lie. You don't have to lie. Just change jobs. Wonderful Jerry lies. But you're the only one that makes me feel bad. No. Remember a couple of months ago when I wanted a raise? <laughs> Because it would create jealousy among the oh other my God. Was that true, or did you just not want to pony up the dough? <laughs> Greta, please. <laughs> Am I ill? <laughs> that is the perfect question for you to ask. Please lie on for me. You bought me this antique silver frame from Tiffany's. Tiffany's. Is it from Tiffany's? Girl, sale 650 marked down from 10. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really on vacation. Greta, don't leave! <laughs> I'm on my knees in a nine hundred dollar <laughs> Years ago, a friend of mine had a burglar on her roof. A burglar. He sued my friend, and because of guys like you, he won. You've been known that all the time. Is that justice? You've been known no. that all the time, but you've been working for him. I got him ten. <gasps> ten. But she been working for him the whole time, and she knows that he's a liar. So what's the problem now? Loser! <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Will! Degenerate! <laughs> <laughs> well, her plan <laughs> failed anyway. Session, the honorable Just a few more hours, but I think they have to settle this today. To the hear permission? the sounds, like... Why? A dare. I'm sweaty. Oh, come on! Your Honor! <laughs> How can it be proved that the male voice on that tape is not Mr. Cole himself? You're such a better lover than my husband. <laughs> oh, my God. I object! And why is that, Mr. Reed? <laughs> because it's devastating to my case! <laughs> Over Your Honor, would the court be willing to grant me a short bathroom break? Can it wait? Yes, it can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I can't. laughs> no, that is too much. You put your head in the damn toilet. Oh, my Lord. I mean, I mean, he gotta do anything he can to get himself out of that situation. So I, uh, I don't know. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> it was I. A madman, your honor. <laughs> A desperate fool at the end of his pitiful rope. <laughs> so will they push the court date? Under the circumstances, I have no choice but to recess this case yeah. until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Unless, of course, you feel you can still proceed. Oh my God! Don't give him a choice. Yes. No. I can't. I can't do it. I can't finish the question if I know the answer is a lie. Okay, so if uh, if he knows the answer it will be the lie, he can't ask it. Isn't it true that your relationship with my client is entirely platonic? I object, Your Honor. I object, Your Honor, and I move to strike! Mr. Reed. You had sex with her every time you met, didn't you? Didn't you? Liar! He's badgering the witness. It's his witness. Yes. <laughs> you stuffed her like a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's true, okay? I hooked her brains up. There. Now you're happy? What? <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that's funny. Listen, you bastard. I want my money. Are you doing that in court in front of everybody? I call Samantha Cole to the stand. Uh huh. And it says here you were born in 1964, but that's not true either, is it? On your birth certificate under date of birth. Your Honor, I object. What does this have to do with anything? 1965. That would mean that you lied about your age to make yourself older. Really? 
I changed it so I could get married. And the truth shall set you really? free! In light of this new evidence, the court must rule in favor of Mrs. Cole. <laughs> you won by being honest, okay? I didn't know she was underage. You yeah, didn't know? I understand both parties have agreed to joint custody, is that correct? Yes. Yes! No! Why? If I get sole custody of the kids, that's another 10 grand in child support payments. Just Why? Just $11 million! Why, you got a lot of money. Well, I'm not okay with it. You said he was a good father. So? That is sad. I hate people doing that. If he's a good father, a good mother, what's the problem? Let him see the kids. All that because of money? Oh my God, I hope he wins. He gets all the kids. Oh, for God's sake, will you give me those? They're mine. They oh my gosh. Don't they see this and they will allow her to have the kids? This man is a good father, and children are not leverage. Oh, don't do that! I have a date to play ball with my son. You should have known. You should have just gone. I can't talk to you right now. Our flight leaves at eight o'clock. What? Oh my gosh! But her doing this just because she's mad. She's not even sure that she wants to marry the guy. Am I too late? Have you been sexual yet? Because oh my I could circle the block. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This guy dressed like Jim Carrey's character, like he dressed, he's trying to mimic his body, I don't know. Did she maybe take a copy of him, or, I don't know. Ooh, watch yourself, it's the claw. <laughs> Ooh, the claw's coming at you. Ooh. Are you serious? Flight number 120. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has saw that. <laughs> it got inside. I saw the video of Tom Cruise. Like I saw somebody react to him doing the stunt with the airplane. Took it. Hey, thanks, a <laughs> you can die. What if it is on the other side? I love you. She doesn't even love him like that. Oh my gosh. And you want to marry him just to punish him. Just it. Oh my God, it's Fletcher. No, no. This <laughs> Knock on the window. <gasps> Dad? <laughs> and I'm about to die. I'm about to die. There's no security. Nobody's seeing this. No security, no nothing. Pull over it. It's not a car. Can you pull over a plane? A starting plane? Really? You can do that? Stop your thing. <laughs> That's funny. You should go to jail just for this. Both my legs are broken, so they can't take me out to jail. <laughs> what? They can't. <laughs> Pregnant people go to jail. All this time you've been here, and I could see you any time I felt like it, but I didn't. You sitting around sometime, and I want to look at you, and hold you, and play with you. And I want to be able to. I love you more than anything else in the world, Max. I just realized that last night. It's 8.45. You made the wish at 8.15. I've been able to lie for the last half hour. So why are you saying it? He's so cute! You don't love him, though. Birthday, dear Maxima. Let's make a wish. Ah! Wait. <laughs> what do you wish for now? Did you wish for that? I wish for rollerblades. <laughs> oh no, it's the no, claw! 
Ah, okay, I would be fast. I don't have a lot of time in here. Okay, I personally don't understand why people feel the need to tell the kids stuff, to promise stuff. Uh, I'm the type of mother where I do work a lot, yes. Um, oh, wait, I gotta take this. My daughter is calling. Hello? Hey. So, <laughs> my daughter was calling. She wanted to come home from school okay i don't get why people feel the need to um to tell their kids or to promise their kids stuff i personally when i am free and i'm home i like to be home so i never promise my kids like saturday we were going to do this saturday we're going to do that and i never promised like i promised no if everything is fine that day or I know I have money to spend or something like that, I'll tell them at one o'clock we are going out or we are going out this day. Like we are going out on Sunday, for example. I never promise because you never know in this day and age, work, life happens, stuff happens. You will not always have time um, to do things. You will not always have time to give other people time, even your own kids. So I don't know why people feel the need to promise. I don't want people to promise me stuff because I don't want to get disappointed and I don't want to promise people stuff because I don't know if I will disappoint them. So I never promise. It's Saturday, yeah, we can go out. Oh, yes, I feel fine, we can do this, but not in advance. Um, especially when it comes to kids, you gotta be careful because kids look up to you and they, um, they hope, they wish stuff, they really believe in what you're saying and sometimes they don't have the understanding when something isn't working out, they don't have the understanding. So just be spontaneous, just like me, okay? <laughs> yeah, it was a fun movie. Um, it does a lot of funny movies. But at the end of the day, some movies, even if they're silly, you can still take a lesson from it. And yeah, you never know what you have until it's gone. Like he had access to the child whenever he wanted, but he didn't care that much. He didn't give it a lot of importance because the child was there. He could go whenever he wants. He could give excuses and still be welcome back. But now Boston, it's a long flight. I don't know, flight. It's a, it's a long way out there. And with his work, maybe he won't be able to actually see the kid when he wants to. But meanwhile, while he was living close to the kid, I don't know, 30 minutes, 20 minutes away, he never gave him time. But now when he realized, like, we're out of the flight, like, one or two hours to get there, maybe I won't be able to make it. So, yeah, sometimes you got to lose something to understand how important it is. And some people who have it all, who have never lost anything, who have never begged or wished for nothing, they they don't know how it is. So yeah, with that said, thank you guys for recommending this movie and bullying me into recording it. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next reaction. I'm gone. Bye-bye. Peace.